And uh, what we are doing, just like to say, all the boxers got together today and they've all donated some tickets and we're going to invite 50 of the Angli Anglican regiments to come along to the show. Fantastic. So they're hopefully uh, they're back from Afghanistan and they're going to be invited. Support our troops. Support our troops. We've got some questions. We've got some questions. So let's have the questions quickly. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we're live on, on Sky Sports News. Uh, welcome, everyone. But uh, Amir, if we could speak to you first of all. Uh, good to see you here. Uh, your trainer said in the build-up to this, it's, it's a make-or-break fight for you. Is, is that the way you see it as well? Yes, I do. You know, it's a big fight for me. This is um, uh, you know, coming to match the second time. The first time I was here against Prescott. You know, I was in the best of it. Nice to be hopeful. But for this fight, you know, we've done our homework. I've changed a lot of things. Moved to LA, trained there uh, with Freddy. I uh, camped on really well, you know, I'm in the best condition I, I, I can ever be in. Uh, I'm so confident on this fight, so I'm fighting a big, big name, um, and I can't wait to get in the ring on Saturday and fight. You said it's going to be a long, hard fight, that's what you suspect. Uh, I know you've been working on a, on a game plan very carefully. How important is discipline going to be for you, mental discipline all the way through? Yeah, it's going to be a lot, you know, I have to be disciplined from, straight from the bell. You know, um, I can't make no mistakes. I have to be careful, uh, be patient, and use my brains. You know, I've got a good boxing mind, and it's all about, you know, be, like I said, being patient and picking the right shots in the right, at the right time. You know, if you've been to your gym, I think you've got more posters of, of Marco Antonio Barrera up there than, than anyone else. Uh, he's a hero of yours. Um, how much of a step up in class is this for you, and how are you going to feel just getting through the ropes to go in there and face this it? Is a, this is a massive step up in my, you know, in my boxing career. Um, I've took it as probably one of the biggest fights in my whole career, you know, it could take me on to bigger and better things. Um, and, you know, I've trained so hard for this fight. In a way, it's motivated me, it's, it's given me that extra push in the gym to go out there and train harder. Well, you know, this is the biggest fight and I'm going to grab it with both hands. I'm not going to give up. Uh, and that's the reason, you know, I've trained so hard for this fight. It's like, like you said, it's make or break. If we could ask Marco Antonio, uh, a great champion, you've been a professional 20 years, but... How close do you feel to your best at the age you are now and, and at the weights you're fighting at? ¿Qué tal? Bueno, pues me siento muy muy contento primero de de estar aquí en Manchester, donde tengo muy buenos amigos. First of all, I want to. I'm very happy to be here in Manchester, where I have a lot of friends. Gracias por la invitación de venir a pelear con un gran talento como lo es Amir Khan. Thank you for inviting me to be here and fight a great and young fighter like is Amir Khan. Pues la verdad tengo muchísima experiencia, más de 30 peleas de campeonato del mundo. I got a lot of experience, more than 30 title fights. He enfrentado a todos los mejores peleadores del mundo, entonces venimos listos para lo que traiga Amir Khan. I yo, I, I've been against the best fighters in my weight classes all my career and we're just ready to fight Amir Khan. Do you think Amir has, has serious flaws? You'd have seen the British Prescott fight that, that you will expose. Is that how you see it? Pues es un gran talento, es un gran peleador, tiene muy buena pegada, es rápido, entonces no hay que menospreciar nada y hicimos una preparación como tenía muchos años no la hacíamos. I know he's fast, he's young, he got a lot of talent, he got a lot of good things, but he ain't got the experience I got. I, that's what I trained very hard for this fight, and I came here to win. And if we could maybe bring in Don King, I know, uh, working again with Frank Warren, but Don, what's your prognostication, if you like, for what's going to happen on Saturday? You want any Spanish, Don? Uh, let me say this. First of all, I'm very happy to be in Manchester, in the UK. And it's a delight to be back again with Frank Warren. I think this is inimitable and incomparable for a promoter. I feel good about being here, and, and I feel sad that I have to bring bad tidings. Uh, you know, I think the people here are so gracious, so warm, and hospitable. And, um, and I can't say enough good things about Amir Khan. I can't remember, I can't forget when we were in Welsh, wherever we were, Welsh. when yep. yeah, and, and little Mir was just starting out. He was going with all of his moves. I said he's a young Sugar Ray Robinson, you know. And it was just just a thrill to see this type of resurrection of talent and skill and ability, you know. So uh, I still feel the same way. He got derailed somewhere on the line, but he tried to come back, but not this time. 
You know what I mean? After y'all, after we roll away the stone from the presentation that you just made with, uh, with my EHO, uh, you roll away the stone, you know, to bring him back from the dead, you know what I mean? Because you see how old he was and, you know, and he's like he's finished and then Frank said there wasn't no gas in the tank. I mean, I mean, more, we should have an obituary. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now you're going for it to be the shock of your life. All the spirits of all the great Mexicans is hovering over this young man. Pancho Villa, Emiliano Zapata, Hildago, Benito Juarez, uh, all of them are there saying go out and defend Mexico. That's what he's going to do. So I'm sorry, but we're going to knock out Amir Khan. I mean, it ain't going to be nothing wrong because Frank and I, we are the resurrectors. We will dust him off, <laughs> get him back in there again, and bring him right back because he's relatively young. And so he has a great skill, great talent, and his mastery of the English language is just superb. You know what I mean? But I, you wanted my prognostication, not only a prognostication, a prediction. He will get knocked out. You know what I mean? And so when we do this, but it don't mean nothing now. I don't want I'm here to feel bad. And he's in the greatest shape of his life. Remember that. He got Freddie Roach, the magician trainer. Remember that. He has all the ingredients and the embodiments of something that will be SKD, as you said, in the ghetto, something kind of different. But the antidote to what ails him is sitting beside me, a young man named Marcos Antonio. Barrera. So he's going to be, it's going to be a great night. Everybody go, but nobody go out for coffee, no beer, no nothing. Get everything before they step into the ring and sit there patiently with great intensity and anticipation of what's formidable and what will be happening on that night. This is going to be a great night for uh, 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 Manchester. It's going to be great. It's going to be historical. And we're going to really put it down in the annals of boxing and sports history. You know what I mean? You'll see it too on Frank Warren's TV. You know what I mean? And so now, be better. And well, I'm going to close. I got a game called Don King Boxing Game. It's going to be out on Wii, right here in the 2K. But it's going to be... And at the point where he starts promoting his uh, game, we'll leave it there. Don King stealing the show, as you might expect. He said he was...